inspiration towards Nat Cole in high school. He admired the, the clarity of Nat King Cole's way of conveying either words or music to people. I could not come near Nat Cole, but it didn't keep me from mimicking or, or liking his music. The yeah. guitar players I listened to were Charlie Christian and uh, T-Bone Walker. T-Bone Walker, he was one of the first rock star guitar players. He was the first to go over the top of the head, play the ES5, and he... So th this is a double stop that uh, the grandfather did all the time, and he, he got it from uh, T-Bone Walker, and that probably goes way, way back, but Hot Bob made it, made it pretty popular though himself, and it, it's pretty simple, you just go like, and that's probably one of the most recognizable licks like ever. Chuck would play in horn staffs. guitar into more of a percussive instrument like the piano. Typically, I used to hear guitar players that were smooth and silky, but Chuck Berry was going <laughs> You know, like a Jerry Lee Lewis of the guitar. He was like, you know, banging. Well, it was Chuck Berry who was playing blues and took it and created rock and roll from it. So he was the gap. He was the connecting rod between the blues and what rock became later. So he had blues bands be backing him, but he was just playing faster. He revved it up and brought it into the, um, as we like to say, into the space age. This musician union card here. Oh, I got that in 54, and now uh, start dying. Uh, but who is this person's name on there? Well, that's my name, uh, sort of camouflaged that uh -huh, name. Uh-huh, I see. Aaron. Charles had got in playing music in blues joints and what have you and for the respect of his dad he put an end at the ending of the burial that was